Welcome to the Virtual DJ Getting Started series. In this video, we're going to show you the basic operation of Virtual DJ, which includes navigating the different sections of the skin, how to locate, load, and play a track, and how to use the crossfader to mix in another track. So, let's get started. Now, when you first open Virtual DJ, you'll be presented with our starter layout skin. Now, this layout screen, or skin as we like to call it, is a simpler layout than some of the other layouts, and it's designed to help you get mixing quickly with some of the more advanced features hidden in order to not distract you from the basics. Now, the skin can be broken down into the following main sections. The deck section, where you load and play all of your tracks, the mixer section where you can mix your tracks together from the different decks. The browser section where you can browse your computer to locate tracks to load into the decks. And finally, the top waveform section which shows you a visual representation of the audio that is playing in each deck. Let's go ahead and load a track that we want to hear. Now in the browser section, use the left side folder browser to browse the different locations on your computer. Now, as shown here, clicking on the local music folder will display various locations from your hard drive, including your local music folder, your local video folder, any external hard drives that might be connected, your desktop area, and special folders like iTunes playlists if you have those applications installed. Now, I have a couple of folders of music stored in my local music folder, so let's browse to that folder by clicking on Music. Now, clicking on any of those subfolders will display its contents in the center file list window, and Virtual DJ will also add these files into its search database. Once you have found a track that you want to play, you can load it up in a deck using a few different methods. The easiest method is to double click on the track, and Virtual DJ will then load it into a non playing deck. Now, you can also click and drag and drop a track onto a deck to load it, or you can also right click on a track in the browser and select load then the deck number that you wish to load it on. Now that we have a track that we want to hear loaded, let's listen to it by pressing the play button in that deck. Now to stop the track and jump back to the beginning, press the Q button, then press play to start playing the track again. Now if you just want to pause and not jump back, then press the pause button. Now that we know how these buttons work, let's get ready for our first mix by finding another track and loading it into the other deck. Once the deck has loaded, go ahead and use the play and cue buttons to try to start the song on B. Now don't worry if you press play a little early or too late because Virtual DJ has an advanced sync feature to help you. Press the sync button and Virtual DJ will tempo shift the playback in order to help you beat mix. Now that the beats are aligned, you can use the crossfader in the mixer section to easily fade from one deck to another. Congratulations! You just just performed your first mix with Virtual DJ. That'll do it for this Getting Started video. Now be sure to watch our other videos in this series where we go beyond the basics and show you some really cool effects and tricks that you can add to your mix as you get to know your way around Virtual DJ.